Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a fluid transport practice problem going up and down a pipe. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel, it really helps a lot. So the problem that we're going to solve goes as follows. Uh, a pipe carries water over a hill from left, to right as uh, from left to right as shown below. Point 8 is not open to the atmosphere but is at a gauge pressure of 240 kilopascals. Point C is open to the atmosphere. Point B is 18 meters above points A and C. The area of the pipe is constant. So the first thing that they're asking us is if the resistance between points A and B is 3.6 uh, times 10 to the 5 and the resistance between points B and C is 2.4 times 10 to the 5 uh, joules seconds divided by meters to the 6 what is the current in the pipe? So as you can see I have everything written down here in my notes so I have the drawing A, B and C uh, this change in height is equal to 18 meters we have a gauge pressure over here and absolute pressure over here uh, the area of the pipe stays constant and we do have both of the resistances. So the first thing that they're asking us to figure out is what is the current in the pipe? So what we are going to have to do in this situation because we don't have neither velocity so we can't really use our equation AV we don't really have the velocities uh, we are going to have to solve this by using our Bernoulli equation. Uh, so let me just write that down. There you go. And we have to select which two points we're going to be analyzing. And obviously what we want to figure out is the value of this I term over here. So the two points that we are going to be analyzing or that I'm going to be analyzing are um, I'm going to choose to work with A and C because I do have both of the pressures over here and that's going to make it so that I can solve for I because if I choose A to B or B to C uh, this term I'm not going to know what to write over here because I don't have any information of, on the pressure of B so that wouldn't really work out. So yeah, so I'm going to use my Bernoulli equation from points um, A to C. Now in terms of pressures, the thing that's, you know, that makes this just a little bit harder is that this pressure is a gauge pressure and this pressure is an absolute pressure. Um, so the definition of gauge pressure is absolute minus atmospheric. And the reason why I know that this is an absolute pressure is because this is open to the atmosphere, so it's just atmospheric pressure. So whenever we're, do we're using Bernoulli, you never want to subtract uh, an absolute minus a gauge or a gauge minus an absolute. You need to have them both on the same terms. Uh, that, because if you subtract a gauge minus an absolute, that would be sort of the equivalent of subtracting, I don't know, Celsius minus Kelvins. Uh, that's really not going to work out, so we need uh, to change one of these guys. So what I'm going to do is take this pressure and I'm just going to change it to absolute. So gauge is equal to absolute minus atmospheric pressure, so that means that the absolute pressure is just add up atmospheric pressure, right? So this is Two four zero 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 pascals plus atmospheric pressure. So just put take this, put it on the other side of the equation, and then I don't like working with kilos, so I'm just I just added the three zeros over here, and that's it. So now we can actually start putting some numbers. So going back to the Bernoulli equation, um, let's see what we have. So we have a delta p. So that's going to stay. Uh, we don't have a change in height going from A to C because even though the pipe goes, op uh, goes up and down, A and C are at the same height. So this term is actually going to be zero, so we're not going to add it. This term over here, uh, the area of the pipe stay 
stays constant, so because the area is not changing, the velocity is not changing, therefore this term is also going to be equal to zero. Uh, this term is equal to zero because we don't actually have a pump between A and C, there is no pump anywhere, so this is equal to zero. And finally, uh, we do have some resistances and the water is flowing, so this term actually is going to stay. Now, the only thing that's a little bit tricky over here is that this is a Bernoulli equation going from A to C. And in terms of the, uh, you know, in terms of these variables, this total resistance must be the total resistance from A to C. The problem here is that on the instructions, we were giving a total resistance from A to B and then a total resistance from B to C, which are these two. If I plug any of this over here, then that wouldn't be correct because I'm just, you know, you would just be considering half of the pipe. So the two options that we have is first option, go from A to B and then from B to C, and then just use the appropriate, uh, you know, total resistance on both of the occasions. But the other method, which I think is the most uh, convenient, is that the total resistance from A to C is just equal to this resistance plus this resistance, right? Because this is a total resistance, so it accumulates as you go along the pipe. So if you add them up, a, like, they, like if they were in series, then that's how you would get a um, total resistance from A to C. So, this is just 6 times 10 to 5, same units, and this is the resistance that we're actually going to be using, and this resistance will be appropriate because it involves the entire, you know, A to C path. Uh, so at this point, I am basically ready to solve for everything, yes, so I is equal to delta P divided by R and then negative because I have a negative sign over here. Uh, if I'm going from A to C, this is equal to final minus initial, so final is point C, so it's just minus initial, which is um, so like this and then just divide it by this number over here. Um, now, as you can see, these two cancel out because you have a positive and a negative over here, and then you also have a negative here with a negative here. So this is just 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 times 10 to the 5. So my current is just putting it on a calculator, 6 um, times 10 to the positive 5, so that's equal to 0 0.4 meters cube per second final answer. So that would be my final answer for part A. So now for part B, using the information from part A, what is the gauge pressure at point B? Okay, so now we actually need to find the gauge pressure at point B. So we basically need to find, um, let's see, let's just see this color. So what we need to find is P at B gauge which is just the absolute of B minus atmospheric pressure. And what's very convenient over here is that point C is at atmospheric pressure. So if I were to do delta P from B to C, like this, um, then that would be final minus initial. So that would be atmospheric pressure minus PV over here. So 
let's see so I want this and I would get this oh okay so then basically we can use our Bernoulli equation from B to C and then just flip the sign and that will be the gauge pressure because whatever we get going from B to C that's going to give us this value so if we uh, multiply times negative 1 that's going to flip it and that's going to give us the actual uh, gauge pressure that we're looking for so let's just go ahead and do that so we're going to do our Bernoulli equation from B to C so let's just look at the equation and see what we're getting delta P is what we want to get so we can flip the sign and get our final answer uh, we do have a change in height so we have to include that we don't have a change in velocity because the area is, is constant throughout the pipe so we're not going to include that we also oh this is a plus we also don't have a pump so this goes away and we do have a resistance so this is negative I which we calculated times R but now R is just R from B to C because my Bernoulli equation I'm just doing B to C so we would just be using this one over here so let's see so um, delta P from B to C is equal to negative I R minus because this goes to the other side of the equation rho g delta y so in terms of numbers uh, this is negative 0 0.4 this resistance is 2.4 times 10 positive 5 and then this is negative I'm gonna use a thousand is this water yes water over a hill so this is a thousand I'm gonna use 10 over here for gravity and then if you go from B to C you're actually going down so this should actually be negative 18 and this negative is actually very important if you go from B to C you're going down and that's it so let me just put this on a calculator so let's see um, negative 0 0.4 uh, 2.4 times 10 to the uh, positive 5 minus 1000 times 10 times negative 18 is equal to 884,000 no, 84, uh, pascals so delta P from B to C is 84,000 pascals but this is not what they were asking for in uh, the problem what they were asking for is the gauge pressure which is just the negative of that so final answer is that the gauge pressure at point B is negative 84000 pascals there we go final answer so I hope that this video was useful to you guys uh, if it was please leave a like if you have any questions or comments please make sure to leave them on the comments on this video and I'll see you guys in the